After a visit to Australia to commemorate the Coral Sea battle, United States ships Tarawa and O'Bannon come alongside Aotea Key, Wellington. Tarawa is more than just a name for New Zealanders, Wellington people in particular, for it was from Wellington that a huge convoy of American fighting men set sail for one of the bloodiest battles of the Pacific War, the assault on the beaches of Tarawa. Wellington had got to know those Yanks pretty well. They had spent a lot of time training around the beaches and hills at Pai Kokoriki. In the island's campaign, New Zealanders and Yanks fought side by side, making a team that completely smashed the enemy's southward drive. Wartime comradeship has left an indelible memory that now kindles afresh when at the town hall, the mayor of Wellington, Mr. R. McAllister, takes the salute as the ship's colors are marched through the city. When the ships are thrown open to the public, the crowds swarm aboard to see everything and make new friends. Helicopters are not seen very often around these parts, so on request the skipper has a pilot put on a show for the eager sightseers. The ship's lifts work overtime, rushing the crowds up and down all afternoon. Every nook and cranny of the ship is full of interested crowds, determined to see everything from top to bottom. Another welcome guest paying a short visit to New Zealand is Fleet Admiral W.F. Halsey, wartime commander of the South Pacific Forces. As he comes to lay a wreath on the war memorial, he is greeted by the members of the Returned Servicemen's Association, headed by General Sir Howard Kippenberger. Many New Zealanders served under the Admiral in his hard-hitting, island-hopping battles, and now he honours those who fought with him. After the Admiral attended a civic reception, he went on up to Fernside, the country home of Mr. R. Scotton, the American ambassador. Amongst the guests were the Prime Minister, Mr. Holland, Commodore Sir Charles Madden, Chief of New Zealand Naval Staff, and Mr. T. MacDonald, Minister of Defence. Hello, Admiral. It's very nice to have you back in our little country of New Zealand again after the passing of these last few years. It's a great pleasure here, sir. Though. My trouble is that my visitors are too far separated. But I'd love to come here. I feel very much at home in your country. And the last time you were here, things weren't quite so peaceful in the Pacific, were they? Not a lot better now, though, uh, thanks to America now. and to Britain. Uh, I hope we'll never have to do anything like that again. Mm. But if we do, I hope we're all together again, because we certainly formed a wonderful team that time. I'm sure we could do it again if we had to. But God help us if we ever have to do it again. The third New Zealand division was with you, Admiral? Yes, the third division, uh, New Zealand division was with me, and they uh, cleaned out Dole La Villa, took part in the Treasury Island show, and then went up and took Green Island. New Zealand has been glad to welcome an old friend. Good luck, Admiral Halsey.